all of you welcome friends now today's i am going to discuss the topic chemical bonding and catalysis lecture number 2 basic science course code 22102 for the first year diploma program first semester i skip myself mr m n i am lecturer in chemistry now previous lecture we will discuss uh, start the topic and discuss the term atomicity and electronic theory of valency okay now the next that is a chemical bond or formation of chemical bond the basically the chemical bond is formed atom interact by losing sharing or gaining of electron so as to acquire the inert configuration that is the sharing losing or gaining the electron the number of electrons are to be lose share or gain and these number of electrons are known as the valency electron and these valency electron indicate the valency the definition of valency the valency may be defined as the number of electrons that can lose gain or share so as to complete its octet and becomes stable at the time of chemical bond formation or chemical combination that is a formation of chemical bond and these bonds are divided into the different uh, these bonds are to be classified in different categories that is the types of chemical bond the first one is the ionic bond or it is known as electrovalent bond covalent bond coordinate bond metallic bond hydrogen bond hydrogen bond okay the ionic bond or electrovalent bond is formed by transfer of electron that is a lose or gain of electron covalent bond is formed by mutual sharing of electron now coordinate bond is formed by one sided sharing of electron and metallic bond is formed by delocalization of electron through the metal lattice hydrogen bond is formed by when hydrogen atom act as a bridge between two electronegative atoms now see the first type ionic bond or electrovalent bond the electrovalent bond or ionic bond that is electrovalent compound or ele covalent electrovalent compound or ionic compound is formed by transfer of electron that is loss or gain of electron now an ionic bond is formed by the complete transfer of one or more electron from the outermost energy cell of one atom to outermost energy cell of another dissimilar atom so that both acquire the stable inert gas configuration now the atom lose the electron and acquire the positive charge and becomes positive ions that is known as cation and these types of electrovalency are known as positive electrovalency for example the sodium sodium its electronic configuration atomic number is 11 and its electronic configuration is 281 means its outermost orbit that is a one electron and this one electron it will be easily lost and form na plus and stable electronic configuration that is 28 that is a loss of one electron and it becomes positive charge ion that is na plus sodium ion for example magnesium atomic number is 12 and its electronic configuration is 282 and outermost orbit that is two electron it will be lost and form mg plus plus and its electronic configuration is 28 that is a stable electronic configuration of cation now on the other hand the atom gain the electron and acquire the negative charge 
and becomes the negative ions that is anion. And these types of electrovalency are known as the negative electrovalency. This negative electrovalency, that is, a, for example, the chlorine. Chlorine, the atomic number is 17, 17, and this electronic configuration is 287. The outermost, in the chlorine atom, the outermost orbit, that is, a 7 electron, it required 1 electron and to attain the stability or stable configuration and chlorine becomes the chloride ions. That is a gain of one electron and it becomes the negative charge ion that is Cl minus that is anion. Sulfur, sulfur, the atomic number is 16 and its electronic configuration is 286. It requires the two electrons and becomes the stable electronic configuration that is 288. The sulfur accept or gain the two electrons and becomes sulfur S minus minus that is a negative charge ion. And basically the positive electrovalency and negative electrovalency is formed by loss of electron or gain of electron. That is a loss of electron, these are the generally, these are the metals and metals have the tendency to lose the electron. The negative electrovalency, generally these are the non-metals and non-metals have the tendency to gain the electron. Gain the electron. Now next, those, that is a formation of cation and anion. Formation of cation and anion. These two oppositely charged ions, that is cation and anion, combine due to the electrostatic force of attraction. That is, the electrostatic force of attraction and to form electrovalent or ionic compound. Thus, the electrovalent bond is formed, electrovalent bond is the form by the force of attraction between the positive ions and negative ions that is cation and anion. For example, these ions are formed in a previous stage that is a Na plus and Cl minus. These are the opposite charge ion and due to this opposite charge ion that is a chemical combination and here is for, for the force of attraction between these two ions and form the NaCl molecules that is the neutral molecules and in between the sodium and chloride that is a bond is formed and these bond are known as the ionic bond or electrovalent bond okay for example the electrovalent compounds the sodium chloride one of the example sodium chloride potassium chloride, magnesium oxide, aluminium trichloride, calcium oxide, magnesium chloride, calcium chloride. These are the example of electrovalent compounds or in this compound that is the formation of ionic or electrovalent bond. Okay. Now the one of example that is the formation of magnesium molecules, magnesium oxide molecules. The magnesium oxide molecule is formed by the combination of magnesium atom and oxygen atom. Okay. Now, the magnesium atom, its atomic number is 12 and its electronic configuration is 282. Means its outermost orbit, that is a 2 electron and these 2 electrons, that is lends 2 electron means lose 2 electrons easily and it becomes the Mg plus plus ion that is a stable configuration to 8 that is a neon configuration means the magnesium lose two electrons to have an octet and becomes Mg plus plus ions on the other hand oxygen that is a atomic number is 8 and its electronic configuration is 2 6 its outermost orbit that is a 6 valency electron and it complete the octet, it required the 2 electron. 
required to electron okay the oxygen required to electron means it gain to electron to have an octet and it becomes o minus minus that is oxygen ion oxygen ions okay the ionic bond between ion of the opposite charge the bond is formed in between the opposite charge ion equal uh, that is a opposite charge ion result form the electrostatic force of attraction of opposite charge now this formation of mg plus plus and o minus minus that is in between this mg plus plus and o minus minus this opposite charge ion and to create the force of attraction electrostatic force of attraction these are come to each other and form the neutral molecules that is mgo and in between the magnesium and oxygen that is the formation of bond these bond are known as the ionic bond or electrovalent bond these are the neutral magnesium oxide at the time of formation of mgo the magnesium lose to electron and therefore its electrovalency is plus 2 oxygen gain to electron and its the uh, electrovalency is minus 2 okay now the properties of ionic bond or electrovalent bond or properties of ionic compound or electrovalent compound in shortly the ionic bond are formed by lose or gain of electron between this metal the bond is formed in between the metal and the non metal that is basically metal and non metal ionic bond are non directional and extend in all direction that is a three dimensional structure ionic compound having a higher melting point and boiling point ionic compound are more soluble in water and insoluble in organic solvent the ionic compound are ionized in the fused as well as in a solution state means that is a aqueous state and they conduct the electricity means the ionic compound are the good conductor of electricity in fused and aqueous state these are generally inorganic crystalline compound in organic crystalline compound their binding energy is very strong that is a binding energy means bond is a strong due to the uh, attraction of electrostatic force and they gives ionic reaction basically these compounds gives the ionic reaction okay thank you students